Running any business demands paper, but what if you could cut that amount of paper significantly? The Fujitsu ScanSnap S1100 might just get us closer to that idea with optical recognition technology. Today, over a cup of coffee here at the Charles Bar, we're gonna see if this little portable device is actually gonna help us save trees or if it creates more work than it's worth. The software claims to translate scan text images into digital files on your computer that you can change and edit. The SnapScan software is supposed to recognize handwriting and also multiple fonts. It's also portable and lightweight. In fact, the unit only weighs about 12.3 ounces and it's fairly straightforward to use. This button is to scan and the cable is a USB that connects to your PC or Mac and it provides the power as well as the connection. However, storage space for the software is pretty demanding on your computer. You're gonna need about 1.3 gigabytes of space for the OCR or optical character recognition software. So let's put this baby to the test. First up, we'll see how it does with the standard sheet of black and white text. I wanna see how it does with a fairly large font size. And as you can see, that goes through pretty quickly. And what happens now is that it wants to know if I'm finished scanning or if I've got more paper to put in. We're just gonna go with one page right now. So I'm gonna click the stop button and then it brings up this quick menu here. We want to put it into Word because as I said, we want to find out if we can make the editable changes right on the screen. This is where the OCR or optical character recognition software is going to work. And here's the net result. Now I thought that it would actually be really easy with a big font like this, but you can see that the first paragraph didn't actually work out too well. Once we get to the second paragraph, it actually did a really good job. Well, let's try it on something a little bit more difficult. The first one was 14 font. This is a 10 font. Let's see how it does. The optical character recognition did a fantastic job with this one. You can see that most of the words do actually work out pretty well. However, if I look really closely, I can see that there's one or two words that I will have to go in and change. But that's a lot faster than trying to type all of this in, as well as how straining that would have been on the eyes. Next up, it says it does other fonts. So we've taken this handwriting type script font. We're gonna see how it does there. Press the start button. And here's our result. I'm gonna take a closer look. Did a pretty good job, but I'm gonna have to go in and do quite a bit of re-editing. At this point, it's hard to say whether or not I should just retype the whole thing in or actually go work from the copy that it created. Now, we're gonna see how well the ScanSnap with the OCR software does at reading my writing and turning it into editable text. And here's our net result. So, if I compare these two, it didn't do a great job whatsoever at trying to figure out what my handwriting was in terms of text. And the only thing I would really do at this point is type this in from scratch. So there you have it. But portability is a plus with a scanner, and because you're gonna be traveling, you're probably gonna be on business trips getting business cards. So I've got a business card here, and as you can see, we're actually gonna use a software that comes on the menu called Card Iris. And if you take a look, it takes a picture of the whole card as we've scanned it. But then what it's done is it's taken all the information. So it's grabbed the first name, the last name, it's got the phone number, it's got the uh, email address, which is important and the main thing that you want, as well as the website as well. So this is great because now that it's got it in a database software, it can easily be transferred to Microsoft Outlook so that you have all of your contacts and we've actually got the image of the card as well. In the end, ScanSnap can save you time by converting documents for editing, meaning you don't have to type them. And if you add a spell check and a quick proofread to the mix, it could end up being a day of fixing a few typos instead of a week of data entry hell.